Hi, this is Dave with Snake and Badger Crafts. Today on 3D Printing Basics, it's Resin versus Filament Printing Round 2, Print Speed. round of resin versus filament printing. The resin printer won in quality, print quality. Not gonna lie, this dog looks better than the other dogs. It's smoother, less defined layer lines, looks better. Today's question is, is it worth the time? First one done, low quality, hour 19 minutes. This is the second one done. Standard quality at one hour and 50 minutes. Unfortunately, I did not get a video of the CR10 finishing up the super quality dog right here. But it finished it in under three hours. It was close to about 250. So about two hours and 50 minutes to print this one compared to the much faster times of the standard and low quality prints. And the resin dog, although it was the best, it did take five hours and 42 minutes to print. So in this case, it would sound like, as far as print speed goes, filament probably beats resin. But there is one kind of extenuating circumstance that needs to be looked at. All right, so as you can see, we have one dog here. It takes five hours and 42 minutes on the Mars with standard settings. And here we have three dogs now, the exact same model. Still takes five hours and 42 minutes. Let me bring the dogs in closer for you for a second. So, the resin dog took five hours and 42 minutes. These guys took one, two, three hours, whatever. But it took a lot less. And like I said, from there, you're not gonna see much of a difference. But here's the thing that's interesting. Like I just showed you, one dog, five hours, 42 minutes, three dogs, five hours and 42 minutes. Meanwhile, every time you print another one of these on the bill plate, you got double the time. This dog took two hours, 45-ish minutes. Two of these would take twice that, five hours, 30 minutes. Three dogs would take seven something. And here's why. When you print in resin, it doesn't really matter the size of the print, it doesn't matter the infill, the layer walls, nothing. What determines the print time on a resin print is layers. So if you print something tall and skinny, like the machine horn horn, it'll take more time because there's more layers. Or if I was to print this golem figure on it, it would take less time because it's not as big even though there's a lot more material there. And this is my print area on my Ender Mars first generation. As you can see, I fit all four dogs on it. So, and if I want to get creative, I probably could fit a fifth. So I could print four, maybe five dogs all at once. And they would still take the same amount of time as just doing the one. So in round two of Reservoir Stillman Printing, we're going to call print speed a tie. While the resin printer did not print as fast as the filament printer, and the filament printers were all at least twice as fast in all cases, if you print enough models on the resin printer, eventually the average will go towards the resin. For that reason, we're going to stick with the tie. So thank you for joining us on today's episode of 3D Printing Basics. The score currently stands one point for print quality for the resin and a tie for both of them in print speed. The next couple of videos, we'll be looking at cost. The cost of the printers and the cost of the materials and consumables that the printers need to run. Anyway, if you like this video and you like this series and you like what we do, like and subscribe down below and we'll see you next time.